Hello. Today we're going to talk about ions. Ions are atoms where electrons and protons are not equal to each other, so therefore they carry a charge. For example, sodium has 11 protons. And when it's an ion, it will have a plus one charge. So that means that the protons and electrons are not equal to each other. If we subtract electrons and we have to, it has to add up to plus one, how many electrons must we have there? 10, okay? Conversely, chlorine has 17 protons. Um, and it tends to have a negative one charge. So if the charge is equal to protons plus neutrons, 17 minus how many electrons will give you negative one, and that would be 18. Dalton gave us the definition of elements compounds, but he said one thing that was wrong. He said that all elements, atoms of every element are the same, and that's not true. We talk about isotopes. Isotopes are elements that have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. So an ion, the charges are not equal. An isotope, the um, mass numbers are not equal. Now this is isotope notation, or in the notation for a single atom, all right? Not for an element, but just for when we're talking about one particular atom. When we write it out like this, this of course is the atomic symbol, or the chemical symbol, I should write. Where A is, is what we call the mass number. The mass number is equal to protons plus neutrons. This is different from the mass on the periodic table, which is an average. The Z gives us the uh, atomic number, which we've already discussed, is equal to the number of protons. Now there's one more thing we're going to put on here, and that is going to be right here. If we have an ion, the ion notation, the charge, goes up here where the B is. So this is the charge, and as I said, the charge is equal to protons minus electrons. So add that into your notation. There we have it summed up for you. Mass numbers equals protons plus neutrons, and the charge is equal to protons plus electrons. So let's see if we can figure some out. P for phosphorus. Phosphorus has an atomic number 15. How many protons does it mean? It has. That's right, 15, because the atomic number is equal to the number of protons. It tells us it has 32 for its mass number. Remember that mass number is equal to protons plus neutrons. If we have 15 protons and we know the mass number is 32, how many neutrons must we have? So you just solve for n. 32 minus 15 would be 17 neutrons. Electrons, remember, are going to be based on this charge, and there is no charge there. So there are no, there are not no electrons. The electrons will be equal to protons, which is going to be 15. And our set, and I'm going to tell you right now, all of these are going to be equal to, the, all the electrons and protons are going to be the same because this is a much simpler one than we're going to do in class. Next one, it tells us that we have 29 protons. That tells us that our atomic number is 29. If we look at the periodic table, copper, is that element. It tells us we have 36 neutrons. 
to get the mass number for copper, we have to take 29 plus 36, which is 65. And then, again, we don't have a charge. We have no way of knowing if there's a charge. So for now, we're going to assume it's the same. For our third one, again, if we assume that it, there is no charge, 18 electrons and 18 protons would be what we're talking about. And 18 is argon. Uh, for a mass number, 18 plus 21, we would have uh, 39, if I did my math right. All right, so that gives you a little bit of practice using the nuclide symbols or the isotope notation. That gives you a little bit of practice with um, mass numbers. We didn't get any practice with, a, well, let's do an ion real fast. Get another page here. What if I tell you I have magnesium? How many protons does he have? He has 12. How many neutrons? 24 minus 12. Electrons are going to be charge equals protons minus electrons. So if you've got 12 protons, how many electrons must you have? Hello, Mrs. Clement. Would you like to say hello to yeah. the kids? Hi. Isn't Hi. it fun? It is. <laughs> See, yeah. 12 minus what would give you 2? 10. So there are 10 electrons. Another one, if we do nitrogen. Nitrogen has a negative 3 charge. Nitrogen has, we'll do nitrogen 15. Nitrogen would have seven protons. Neutrons would be 15 minus seven, or eight. For electrons, we're going to have a minus three is equal to protons, which is seven, minus electrons. Seven minus what is going to give us a negative three? Solve for the electrons, you get negative 10. All right, there's a little practice for you.